Hello and welcome to episode 16 of Ark Ascension. And uh, we get a little bit bored tonight and decide to go into the Artifact of the Brute. And it's a pretty easy cave. Um, and this is what not to do because it is not an easy cave anymore. There is a lot more spawning in here than what there was in Evolved. So be aware. Uh, and this one is just uh, Akon and I going in. And we take some Megalodons and a Plesiosaur. And um, yeah, it gets pretty, pretty rough. That's why the video goes for a little bit, because uh, a few rescue missions have to go on, and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a train wreck. So I'll uh, sit back uh, and watch what not to do, and have a laugh at our expense. <laughs> is there um, land portions, or is it all just like water? Uh, there is, but it's like you can do the whole thing underwater. water. <laughs> oh, it looks so ominous. That is indeed a jellyfish. I see sharks, but they're not a very high level. Ammonites. That's, that's good. Yeah, try not to hit them. I guess it doesn't really matter because we're going to be in a cave anyway. Um, yeah, they I... do some dog shit stuff. Yeah, they. <laughs> yeah, they drag. Um, it is you. See if I can snipe this um, jellyfish. My boy's face is down. What are you doing, my son? Yeah, yeah, so you can't tap anything in this cave. Okay. That's like stupid level. Oh my god, look at all those eels! <laughs> There's like a pit of them. Alright. You ready for a fight? Ready. Alright. Do we have like a target and a priority? Yeah, we'll do everything. I'd like to have the other nights to get the point there. Does 
shoot I have to get up as well, so it's like, either way it's bad. on like a psycho, so or Barry, you come up the way I did and you can get up on the land there. It'll look like it went round the corner and it was just a circle. Uh, it kind of does, it goes past. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hiccup. Um, does, it goes past the land that you get up on. <laughs> Despite everything, like this is one of the most beautiful games I've seen in like a long time. Yeah, man. There is a dossier. Yeah, just up around here. I don't think there's one up on the land there. Right here? Yep. Yeah, now I don't know if we can go in there on the sharks. You can't fit. And a red drop. Very nice. Another shark. Set my shark to stay still. The other's anchor to it. Very nice. Oh, let's have a look. What we got in here, boys? Oh my god. The Mosasaur saddle in here. 228 armor. It's a platform saddle. Jesus Christ. And some nice, sweet flak boots. You may want them. These my ones, I think, are slightly better or probably roughly the same. 368 armor. Here you go. Have a look at them. just skip to that because I hadn't watched like two seasons of Jodie uh, Whittaker. So I will watch hers. I will do it. See if I can see the change when it gets good again. It's a bit janky for the pleasing store in here. All these like rocks jutting up. Not gonna be catching him. Oh, what the fuck is that? Megalodon, that looks Dope. Purple green dude. Oh my lord. 
Sharks in there. Ooh, 90. Wow, I think we're going to lose all the sharks. I can't even get involved. I have 100 health left. Yep, that's all the sharks did. Those are beast sharks, and there's Mosasaurs in there too. Grappling above them, so I'm closer with the shotgun. Hey, that's one dead. here was I was gonna just lower myself down into the water if I need to make a quick escape I can just like reel myself back in and then up and above so that way yeah I'd get more sharks underneath me but um unfortunately the grapple doesn't go too far <laughs> it was uh, worth a, try a shot saw in the other room. Jesus Christ. A 
bunch of megalodons. Shit. Halfway there. Yeah, that's alright. These guys are like stopping on everything. <laughs> Phase one complete. <laughs> I'm gonna have a quick look and see what's actually in here again. See what's respawned. That's good. Oof, there's some big sharks over there. Okay. It's pretty fucked, eh? <laughs> yeah, there was at least three jellyfish that I saw. Uh, maybe there's three or four mantas They're around the corner. Slow. But the, the worst things is, is the electric eels. They are absolute mm -hmm. pains in the ass. That we can time it and pull things up and kill them. The eels are what can literally throw a spanner in the works and cause us to die by slowing us down. <laughs> the alternative, right? We ignore everything and swim as fast as we can up and basically directly ahead. I think, and then move it to the right. And there's actually a ledge that takes us up and out of the water. <laughs> I, I know where it is. I'm only worried that you'll miss it. And oh, actually, no, I'm worried that an electric eel will hit one of us and cause us to get fucking annihilated. Yeah. Because, yeah, you can Unless they've changed the, <laughs> the cave, that would be funny. Because nothing seems to be coming for us. Yeah, nothing cares at the moment. Alright. Ready? Yep. You might want to get a bit closer to me. <laughs> Alright. Line up so you're straight. I'm gonna go to the right, yeah? Uh, pretty much like up to the surface and then you're yeah, sort of right ish. Not too much there. Yep. Alright, let's go. Oh, the moose was moving. That's scary. There we go. Oh, hit me. Yep. Over here. Land. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Oh, there's an alpha shark in there too. <laughs> Think we can kill this thing? Oh. Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah. Fuck. He's looking back like, oh no. <laughs> He's like, oh, I done fucked up. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh. Back in the water for some reason. So, I think we might 
might be let's have a little look around. I think there might be a um boss here over here. Yeah, here it is. No. <laughs> yeah, there is like an underwater. What the? There's never spiders in here. Oh, the vetted things. Um, yeah, there's a like in that cavern. There's another underwater like tunnel that leads into the final section. Is that bats like in here? What? There's bats in here! If oh only my someone God. brought some antidote. God. <laughs> I know, right? They're never here! Oh my god, I don't even have armor. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> There's usually nothing here. Alright. Bats are right. Action shotgun. Oh, 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 lordy. Tussaud youth, this vampirus is a very aggressive water predator. Approximately nine meters long, Tussaud youth is a terror of the deep. Am I in Shazza? Yep. Holy shit, she just had 24 levels to spend. Yeah, all these things are. Well, all these creatures are like over 200 level. Bulk XP, man. And then we've she also is, got the dossiers on too. He is now the equivalent of my old one. Mm. Yeah, man. I got 20. I got 19 on this one. I already put some levels into it too. Uh, I've got a 10k health. 10k health, and then I smash some melee. Yep. <laughs> There you go, this one has 10k health and 582 damage. Shit. Yeah. Do I have to worry about their stamina because I'm not riding them? Um, no, no, the stamina, I wouldn't even bother at all. Like, yeah, nah, the berries are fine with stamina. Sweet. Alright, so there definitely is things in there. I can hear stuff in the water. Yep. So there's sharks at least in there. But the, the artifact is in the middle of this pool. We don't know what's in there yet. 
for them. Yeah. No, oh, there we go. Mantis. Not too much of a worry. Alright, we got a bunch of big sharks. You can see the artifact. That's an alpha. Oh, I think we just yeah, pull things up to the shallows here and kill them. Yep. As those big ones are in there. So we get back to it again. Drag them in, kill a few at a time, and carry on. And we just kept doing that, slowly picking off groups of sharks. Uh, and then, yeah, we start fighting down in the actual passageway itself. It turns into a bit of a cluster here. But uh, it's pretty hard going, and uh, a lot of healing of the berries. Uh, yeah, for now. 
I can't see. I'm so slow. Alright, dumped fish, I can move. Oh shit, you're all the way back there. Yeah, all good. All good. Get out of there, get out of there. I killed a couple which then filled me up. How much health have you got then? Uh, 7 3. <laughs> I'm 2 6. Jesus. Yeah, remember yours is imprinted to you, so you take 30% less damage. Ah, uh, fair, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so my health dropped very quickly then. <laughs> Too well getting out. This room just down there is uh, absolutely chockers, as you can see. Um, things went down and we lost a Baryonyx and both of us died. The Exa managed to save Shazza, um, but in doing so, yeah, we died not very far away, but we just couldn't get through to get our gear. So we've now lost heaps of gear. Luckily, it's the way the operation went. Because I, I wasn't filming, as you as you see just before. Uh, we're just sort of picking them off bit by bit. We got a little bit mangled there and pulled back. And yeah, we sort of kept prodding. And uh, yeah, no one died. And it was like 4am, so he was real tired. I was like, oh, I'll try and get your stuff back, man. You go to bed. You know, Christmas is today and everything. Um, but I've got the morning free. So I went and had a nap, and uh, yeah, now I'm going to try and get these guys out, but we don't have the artifact, so I had to come over here on my crocodile to get through, and oh my god, it was absolutely hell. I, I should have filmed it, but um, it was such a scramble. And um, yeah, so luckily I did put some stuff on Shazza, because I was so heavy trying to get Owen's gear out, and the gear that I was carrying, so got some of my stuff. Yeah, at least we got the weapons. We lost all our scuba gear, like all of it. Pretty brutal. Did I lose my shirt? I'm not sure. I haven't actually looked at here yet, so I just logged off in here. <laughs> uh, wait, so if I have no scuba gear, I think I just have whatever's oh yeah, on me. Yeah, which is not much. So I might have to quickly zip out on the croc. Ooh, which might be good, I might be able to like, draw some stuff away. I might come back with some more scuba and just see if I can sneak through. We lost oh, the, the loot that we got from these... The drops in here. Oh, we got a um, an Ascendant Megalodon saddle. It was 116 armor. So spew when we lost that. So it would have been a huge help with doing this in the other, other cave. Drop here. Uh, yes, yeah, so we didn't have the best of luck and <coughs> lost a lot. Now I'll see what we can do. Thought I'd try and grapple out and just drop down and get it. But things moved. So I don't know if I could actually do it. But I should have left Armour Croc. <laughs> right there, we have got sharks. Yeah, as soon as I touch that water. 
over. Faster, oh my god, there's gonna be sharks. Faster than sharks, eels. I think the eels are actually faster, but not by not a huge one. So I made it into the final room, I killed everything in the other one, and then made my way in. This time I just ran straight through and avoided everything. Um, I really couldn't be bothered killing them all, but um, mainly because you'd have to drag them like, down into the underground pass there. So I thought if I can get them up here, then I can drag them up onto the little ledge here and kill them. So I was doing that, and at one point when I jumped off to jump in the water to have a little squeeze and see what there was, um, some of the creatures had stopped like sort of basically right below us, and one of them was an eel, so that was cool. Uh, got electrified, messed up, that almost killed me on its own, and I think it was a manta? Oh, I don't know what got the final kill, something did, but um, yeah, I died, and yeah, Rhonda just watched, because she's set to passive. Um, but unfortunately I had the little otter with me too, because I was going to get the artifact, and uh, twice, and so the otter died also. So that was fun, and then I had to get back in here of course as well. So um, yeah, I end up having to use a psycho to zip in. Pretty sure. There's bloody sharks in the wall. Keep spooking me. One eel trapped somewhere and he comes out and gets me. <laughs> Record this actually, that would have been funny. I was coming back and out in the ocean. Oh, from the map. I was coming back. <laughs> Ugh. Um, Rhonda's still in the cave, of course. Uh, I was just coming back out here somewhere. Found this little tamed Megapithecus. Megapithecus? Meso. Yes. Um, it was literally floating out in the middle of the water. 
Mr. Gill, so I can't call it Wilson, but that would have been a perfect name. Yeah, so after all that, go through and replaced gear that I've lost. A new sword, 270, pretty good. I should mind wiped. Uh, got a whole bunch of points into crafting to make some things. Did bears sleep a long time? I don't remember. Uh, I think so, yeah. Just gonna use darts on them for the time you crossbow because um, they're talking quite high. Dying every time we use crossbows. Yeah, okay. Well, I might give this guy a prank just for the colours and then go get. Yeah, go get some stuff to feed him. Oh. It's a bit terrifying though, taming them, like taming anything now, because you think, oh, I'll just tame it from up on top of this hill. And then they start coming at you, then they stop, and then they, they run away, and you're like, where are you going? And then like 20 to 30 seconds later, they found a way up somehow. <laughs> out of the door after last night's uh, shenanigans. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, thank you, Bob. And uh, made some presents. Oh, shit. So after all of that, uh, I managed to Get a good portion of our gear back and replace it, so that's pretty good. A lot of the replacements were actually a bit better, because they added the crafting mind wipe trick. Um, but yeah, did a couple of runs on the Psycho uh, before respawns could really set in. Uh, so I did manage to get us a, an artifact each, but we got to do it properly. So uh, the next episode actually covers all three of us going in, not at four in the morning on Christmas, and doing it properly. So stay tuned for that one. <laughs>